And welcome back to my channel. It's me, Anton. And today, the, my brother's friend, Nanasa China, she was very generous enough to actually give us mga Chinese snacks that we can see on the channel. Ko ngayon, and dami niya guys pinadala. Kaya isa isa hinatin siya. So thank you so much. Dun sa kay bigyan ng kapatid ko si Miguel uh, for sending us these snacks to taste. So ung pisahan na natin. Okay, so ang unang snack natin ay ito. These are actually peanuts. Wow. wow. Kaya pa paning Chris yung magandang mag nagpunet. Ah, may pa pala siya. Isa pa pang package yung sa loob. Sa so, dalawang package pa pala niya. So let's put this here. May peanuts sa loob and then para may coating siya na parang um, pastry siguro or a little bit of sweet pastry siguro sa labas. Ito natin. Yeah. Mmm. Matamis siyang amoy. Amoy siyang parang, what do you call this? Sugar coated. Lagay ko dito para at makita natin guys. Ayan. Ay. Ayan guys so. So, nakikita nyo yung um, para siyang, ang una-una kong tingin dito is para siyang nagaraya. Pero para talaga siyang bilog na bilog na nagaraya. Ang amoy niya, para siyang deep fried na donut ang dating. Let's give this a taste. Cheers! Oh my god guys, maanghang. Spicy and sweet. Parang deep fried crunchy dough and then peanut inside. Ayan o. Oh. Ipapansin nyo guys, parang may peanut sa loob. Actually, masarap siya. Kasi matamis-tamis na maanghang-hang. Yung tamis niya, no, parang siyang yeah, very similar to a donut or deep fried dough na malutong. Mm, this is good. So, next snack. So, next snack natin. So, actually, ang packaging niya, may nakikita natin dito, parang siyang yellow, purple yam, or pur ano yung, ang tawad doon? Kamote. Kamote. <laughs> Kamote na kulay purple. Oh my God! Guys, so, <laughs> nakikita niyo ba yan? Oh my God! Parang siyang, <laughs> parang siyang, <laughs> ayokong sabihin. <laughs> Para sa like little mini sweet potato na kulay purple. Ang oh, amoy siyang sweet potato. Grabe. Let's just give this a taste. So, here it is. Cheers! Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Klasa siya talagang kamote. Parang purple kamote. Pati ang amoy niya talagang para siya hindi siya artificial na amoy. It's actually very sweet potato. Nakikita niya, guys. I know. Para siya talaga siyang kamote. Diyama, oh. Tikim ka. Para talaga siya kamote. 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 <laughs> Ang cute naman ito. Para yung tamis siya. Matamis siya. Pero hindi siya yung artificial na tamis ng legyan pa siguro na asukal. Para siguro yung klase ng natural niyang tamis talaga. Ng kamote na purple kamote. It's actually very similar to that. Hindi ko na mabasa yung ingredients eh, pero hmm, it's good. Very good. I think this is one of my favorites. So let's go to the next snack. Ang susunod nating snack ay meron siyang tinatawag na mixed chips ang tawag. So I'm guessing meron siyang kamote and then meron siyang all kamote. <laughs> All kamote and design. May yellow kamote, may purple kamote. Ah! Ito pala ang style niya, guys. So. Yan. So, meron tayong, I think this is sweet potato na kulay yellow. Meron tayong purple sweet potato. Meron tayong potato. And then, meron tayong gabi. Tama ba? Oo, gabi. So, this is actually vegetable, dried vegetable chips na may parang seasoning siya sa labas, no? So, let's give this a try. Unahin muna natin yung sweet potato na kulay yalo. Mmm! Malutong siya. Hindi siya masyad maalat, pero maybe konti siyang seasoning na, parang nga, maalat-alat ng konti. It's similar to chips, but nalalasahan mo talaga yung natural 
flavor ng chips niya, no? Sa kanilang itong yam. So, let's give this yung purple yam. Purple kamata. Hmm! Wala naman pinagkaibad sa una. Tikman natin potato. Patatas nga yun. It's potato chips. Maano lang siya. Parang styrofoamy type of snack. Tikman natin gabi. So, talaga siya parang drenite siya. Dry chips. I think, ewan ko, siguro healthy siya. Healthier. Kaya hindi niyong babibili to guys. Ang sarap-sarap pala na to. If ever you are able to buy snacks sa China, I think you should buy this one. Uh, three squirrels. Hmm. Okay, ang next snack natin, I think this might be blueberry. Blueberry snacks. So, let's open this. Our shampoo tab sa taas. Ah, individually wrapped siya, guys. So inside there are... How many pieces kaya ito? Pero meron siya ano? Ang dami niya sa loob. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9? 3, 6... Oh nga, 9. Ba't yung hindi pa ginawang 10? <laughs> 9 pieces of individually packed snacks. So hindi ako nakakabasa ng Chinese character, guys. Woo! Oh my god, blueberry na blueberry ang amoy. Guys, alo ko. Parang siyang freeze-dried or air-dried. Freeze-dried tuloy. Parang yogurt type. Ang amoy niya kasi, guys. It's almost similar to yogurt. Yogurt, blueberry yogurt. Oh, it's very brittle. So let's give this a taste. Cheers. Mmm, ang sarap. Very crunchy and then tart. Very similar to eating blueberry yogurt. Very, very similar. Ang sarap ito, in fairness. Pati tigma ko kayo nil to. Nil tigma mo to. Sarap ito ba? Hmm. Ang sarap nga siya. Hindi siya nakakasawa kasi once you bite into it, crunchy talaga siya. Tapos parang siya natutunaw sa bibig. Pero powdery. And then ang alasa niya talaga is blueberry yogurt. Tapos na may nakakagat pa ako na parang alam yung blueberry seeds or yung sa strawberry seeds na maliliit na ganun. Actually, very good. Hmm! Enjoyed it! Ang susunod natin snack. Ang ganda ng packaging actually nito. Oh. Meron siyang para siyang plastic type na puti. And there's design na para siyang city. In the city. Para ba bubuksan ito? Ay! Bakit baliktad? Nasa baliktad guys yung ano niya. Ito yung design niya pa ganyan. Pero bukas siya sa ilalim. Why? Full tab. Ang dami niya guys sa loob. Wah! Wow. How many pieces to? I think this is um, maybe 15 pieces. So ganito ang itsura ng packaging niya. Let's open one. Ayan. So, lo sa loob guys. Ah! Nougat talaga siya. Vanilla. Milky vanilla. Nougat. Ayan. If you guys can see, para siyang meron siyang sticky nougat sa taas with a bit of, I think this might be cranberry or strawberry. And then, there is some rice puff sa loob. Okay, let's give this a taste. Cheers! Mm. Sweet tart na top. Very sticky lang siya sa ano no, because of the nougat. But it's very mild tasting. New rice puff niya, parang it's like almost similar to, ano ba yun, yung lady fingers na texture. Yung rice puff niya. Sorry, dimidikit na siya sa, sa ngipin ko. Actually, this is actually good for children's snacks. So, hindi siya masyado matamis. Yung texture niya is very pleasant kasi chewy siya. Sticky because of the nougat. And then you have that very, a little bit slightly texture, crunchy texture from the rice puff na para siyang almost similar to ladyfingers type of texture. It's good! Okay, next snack is I think this is corn puffs, maybe? As it says here, tapos para siyang may buksan na nga natin kaysa mong hula-hula ako dito. Pero maganda yung ano niya, very nice packaging. Full tab. Ah, ito individually wrapped rin. So inside, you have individually wrapped paper, uh, plastic, that has the soft 
label, but three squirrels are in shock. Okay, let's open. Oh my god, this is actually rice puff. Para siyang rice krispies and the thing. Pero corn puff. Hmm, amay siyang ano? Chiffon cake. Vanilla or honey? Vanilla? <laughs> Sabi ko honey, vanilla, honey. <laughs> Let's give this a taste. Oh, very soft and fluffy. Cheers. Mm. Very airy type of puff rice or puff corn. Slightly sweet. Hindi siya masyado matamis. I think they used honey. Maybe for this one. Strap into sa kape. Onion. Very <laughs> masarap siya, guys. Pero parang ang sarap niyang ngwayan kasi very soft but airy. And then, honey type of tasting. Hmm, it's soft. Kaya sabi niya soft. Yung sa label. So next one, next, next brand is actually a, I don't know what this is. Pero I think it's a snack. Siguro ito snack. It's some sort of a rope bread, maybe. Okay, let's open. Alam mo, one thing that I noticed, yung mga Chinese people, ang opening kaya talaga guys, ang package is sila nasa ilalim. Hindi sila nasa taas umil. Tatin dito eh, diba? Sa kanila dito sa baba. We have to open it from the bottom. I don't know why. Do you guys know why you should open it from the bottom? You have to share it with me. Ah! It's bread. It's bread. Ano tawag mo dito? Para siya ano? Laced. It's almost similar to laced crispy bread. Dito sa Philippines. Ano tawag mo dito? Meron ganun dito. Diba yung tinapay? Or yung ma ma malu... Parang almost similar to sa una. Yung may peanut. Parang fried dough. Na meron siya nilagyan na honey glaze sa taas. Matigas siya. It's very hard. Ayan o. Brittle. Very brittle and bread-like dough. Cheers! Mm. Very crunchy. Mm. Deep fried. Lasan lasa ko yung mantika ng konta. Na matamis siya dito sa Philippines. Tapos malutong siya na tinapay. Mm. Not really my favorite type of snack. I think this is actually something that is already common here or nakakain na ito ng Pilipino dito. Sayang, hindi ko talaga malaman panong ano ito. Pero, yun. <laughs> Next snack ay ito siya o. Oh, para siyang anong tawag mo dito, Neil? Yung kinakain natin dati dito sa Pilipinas. Yung parang kulay pula, guys, from China. I forgot the name. Parang ganun siya. Parang shampoo ang lasa, I think. O, oh, ito naman. Iba naman ang pagkakaano. Tinan mo, guys, o. Oh. Nasa una... <laughs> Nasa <laughs> taas naman yung treats niya. Bakit ganun? Ito iba-iba. <laughs> ano ba talaga? Ayan. Individually wrapped rin siya sa loob, guys. A mouthful of sweet and sour. Want to hide you into the heart. Okay, let's open. Ayan o. Oh. Guys o. Oh. Parang siya yung mga pellet. Yung mga ganyan type ng ano. Hmm, amoy champoy. Hindi uh, siya. Amoy parang siyang plum. Sour smelling dried plum. Cheers. Hmm. Ganun na ganun na siya. Sour, plummy, plum taste. Na crunchy, dried. And brittle. See? I think this is very familiar dun sa kung makain tayo ng maliliit na kulay pula na pabilog rin. Very similar to that taste. Last snack! Ang nakasabi dito, oh my god, fresh okra. Crisps. Let's open. Oh my god, tingnan guys, tingnan naman to. May kita niyo ba yan? Para siyang ganyan talaga itsura niya siguro. Okra. See? Amoy vegetable. Amoy okra, guys. Oh my God! Look! Full okra on the thing. Wow! Because you can actually see the seeds inside. Look! Look, look, look at that! It's actually very dried and crispy. Oh my god, sorry. Tikpan natin bo. Cheers! Mm. Well, nandun yung lasan-lasan ng okra. But, 
I think because it's dried, kaya siya dinner night. Tapos lumalabas yung natural sugar siya kasi medyo matamis ng konti. And then, si Gemma nandito. Gemma, oh! Ay, okra! Okra! Again, kuha ka. Hindi mo ba lang tigil mo ngayon ko lang in-unbox eh. <laughs> Actually guys, natikman na ito ni Gemma kasi kumuha siya ng isang balot ng isang araw. Nandiyan pa rin yung lagkit niya. Oo. Actually, Ay, kahit naman ano siya, kahit siya drenaid na siya, pag kinain mo, yung, yung, yung slimy thing na nandun sa bibig, nandun pa rin siya. Hmm? At ay hindi nagbago yung bibig mo. Oo, ang galing mo. Oh. Yung mga snack companies natin dito, Ang dami nating gulay dito sa Philippines. I think you guys should start making these kinds of chips para at least healthier for most Filipinos. Lalo namang susuportahan pa natin yung mga farmers natin dito sa Pilipinas. Oo? Oh, nagkawa nila ng ganito. I think magugustahan nyo ng mga Filipinos to. Ang galing naman yung three squirrels. Hmm? Crunchy okra. And I think it's going to promote children from eating their vegetables. Hmm. Very, very good. 10 out of 10. Onion. Hindi ko kumakain ng okra si Onion. Tinan natin. Onion. Ay, ayaw niya rin. <laughs> It goes to show, guys. Pag ayaw talaga ng tao ng okra, kahit di naman yung chips, ayaw ka rin niya kainin. <laughs> so, yun. So, natapos na tayo sa kain ng mga maraming snacks from China. Again, to the friend of my brother, Miguel, from China, thank you so much for sending these delicious snacks for me to taste. So before I go guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below and then the notification bell beside it so that whenever I post new videos, you will always be informed, like, and share at the same time. So I would like to end by saying always stay safe and I will see you in our next video. Take care and bye!